Hi there, it's Mike Smith from the IamLife.com, and today I'm looking at a WordPress plugin uh, that is is a pretty interesting plugin if you have a need to create a video site very quickly. And, and I'll do a talk about the reasons for that in just a minute. But the name of this plugin is Instant Video Site, which is as it should be. Uh, and the best way to take a, to to get into it is actually to just take a look at it because it's pretty self-explanatory once we open it up. Now I've downloaded it uh, from my 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 uh, computer, or uploaded it from my computer, uh, put it into WordPress. It, it's standard WordPress installation. It's a .zip file, and so not not a difficult installation, just uh, no, like normal, like we always do. Uh, once it is updated, or uploaded, and installed, activated, we'll take a look at it over here on the dashboard for WordPress, and we'll see we'll see instant video site right here. And we're going to just double click that. This is a basic, the basic screen that comes up. Uh, there's a couple of, of clicks down here below to create a post, help which it takes you out to some video help and some settings. And the settings, uh, basically you, can, you, you need to put an API key in here, your Google API key. But in the interim, if you don't have one, they provide a key right here, which you can copy and paste up here. And this one will work just fine. And then you could save it. Now the post template, if you, you know, if you, um, if you really get into HTML and you want to change this post template, go right ahead. Otherwise, it works just fine the way it is. So we're going to save this, okay? Um, now we've saved this setting, so now we could go out and we'll create a post. We click here to create a post, and what it's going to ask us is what kind of a, a video out on YouTube do we want to search for? And let's just as an example say we're interested in uh, list building. Now you could put multiple lines here. You can have multiple lines, one entry per line. Uh, you can select the number that you want returned. I'm going to just use 10 here just because that's for, but you could put 100 in if you wanted to. And there's enough videos out on, on YouTube that I, I bet you could pull in 100 of them on list building. Uh, this would clear the fields and this will actually start to uh, initiate the, the search. So we're going to do a search, and this is what will appear after you've put the search in. We've retrieved 10 videos that relate to list building from YouTube. Um, we have some, some options here that we could utilize before we create the post. Now, we, we haven't created the post. We've brought these in, but once we've selected the ones that we want, it will actually create video post in our, on our website. Now we could post it into a specific category. If you've got 50 different categories and you've got a group of, of videos that you want to go to a certain category, just select a category. Uh, you can actually, in case that you have downloaded, excuse me, please, that you have uploaded a, a video that you've previously uploaded, you could select here to skip it, to update it to the new, to the new video, or just repost it, okay? The other thing that you can select is whether you want to bring in the caption or the description. Now, an interesting part about the description, the description oftentimes will contain a link that, the, that the, the creator of that video will put a link in his description. This will actually disable that link so that you, you, your visitors can't jump away from your video by clicking the description. It will also, you can select to bring in the caption. Now, bringing in the caption brings in Google's translation of all the audio that it finds during the video and converts it to readable text. It's not in the best format, but it brings in all the text. So in reality, you wind up with a, a unique text article that will certainly help your rankings on the internet uh, because it will be the actual spoken text, which Google really seems to like. Um, the, another option that you have is to pick certain words that are contained within that, that verbiage, that is the text that's downloaded, and App, app, apply those to a link where if someone clicks those, they will go to a link. And this this would be a link to the, a URL based upon these words. So if a specific word that you've dictated here appears in that uploaded video and the text and someone clicks it, they will go to this link right here. So you can redirect them to some place where you want them to go to. Also, you have a pop-up setting. You can actually select an image. Uh, you can upload an image into here and select it that if someone clicks the image, uh, it will take them to a specific URL. And you can cause that image to occur 
in some form of seconds. You can, you know, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds into the video. So it's sort of an interesting side issue that you could utilize to some great advantage, I imagine. Um, looking at what was returned, uh, over here we have, you know, click a box to select all of them or deselect them all. The serial, the, uh, the this is just the number that came in. Uh, this would be an image, the th thumbnail image of that video. Uh, this is the title that was brought in from the video. And this here is in case you want to view the video ahead of time, you can click here to view the video before you do anything with it, okay? So it's a fairly interesting um, um, product. Let's take a quick peek. We'll select this very first product and we're going to create a video post from it. We're just going to go ahead and click create video post. It will do its magical thing. And now this video post has been created. It's up here in our post, so we find it you know, right up here where we want to. It also is brought back here. It's given a video ID, which is the video ID that for the, the YouTube video ID, and a post ID that we can click to take a peek at it. So now this is our video that we've installed. Now I want you to look down. We're going to scan below here, and we're going to look, and this is the verbiage that this fellow was speaking on this video. So all of his words were converted to text and it's brought in a large text, large text volume, a uh, large volume of text, excuse me please, that uh, you could then take the time to, to parse out. Now one of the things that you could easily do, which might, might help you decide whether you want to do this or not, is there's a couple of really freak capabilities out on the deck, out on the internet, uh, one of them is textfixer.com. So if you were to take this here and save this, uh, and actually copy this here and then save it on your on your uh, your home computer into a uh, word you know a word document, you could then take that document over to a place called textfixer.com, textfixer.com, and drop this in there, and it'll actually remove all the line breaks. So that then you have actually a continuous, a continuous text reading, which then if you wanted to further format into paragraphs, you could do quite easily. Because at that point, it makes it a pretty simple thing to take a look at the text and, and then basically put some paragraphs in it at appropriate places. So that way you could have some very unique text on your site. Okay. Now, this, this is a nice product, but I will add, it's, it'd be a great tool for creating niche websites. Uh, it, it, it does a great job at finding you know, strategic keywords and bringing videos back in there. Uh, the caption gives you a lot of real natural text to, to help boost your SEO on, online. But it's probably not the best kind of a site for your main site. Um, the text conversion may be a little off. It's actually a little bit of trouble to, to do the page and not the, the, the paragraphs. Uh, taking out the line is uh, line draw, uh, line uh, changes are really simple, but uh, paragraphs take a little time for you. I mean, this one right here, I did this one here just as a test. It took me about ten or twelve minutes to so put the appropriate paragraphs in. So it wasn't a super time killer, but it does take time. Um, it's if you really thought about it, this would be a great site. Like if you wanted to build your own private blog network, um, which this would then link back to your main money site. So you could have a, a, a blog out here, a, a video site that has relations, you know, relates to your, your site that dr attracts people to it because it's got good content and then have links in it back to your main money site. So it, I think that would be a great idea. Uh, a lot of people use these uh, private blog networks very effectively. Uh, and in this case here, you could do it without a lot of work. I mean, you to create a site with this in literally minutes, you could have, you know, five or ten posts on it. Um, you could really make your make the site quite active with good content, and then have nice links back to the the, the place that you'd really like them to redirect to. You also you gain some uh, SEO if you get backlinks back into your site from a site that's actively chased. So. Um, other things that you can do, let's get, get into this briefly. You'll notice that, um, let me go back here for a second. You'll notice that when we, we did this, we, we talked about you could place, you know, you can tell which category you want these posted into. You can specify the maximum count that you want to bring in. All in all, it's a very nice little plugin. Now, I've shown you what the plugin looks like. If we go up to the, the post and take a look at it, this is what it's going to look like. So this will be the post. You could actually, any of this could be edited if you want to. 
Uh, it's clean it up slightly. Uh, it'll give you a nice piece of content, and it's a relatively inexpensive plus, uh, plugin to deal with. So um, I think I'm going to recommend it. I, I would never use this for my main site, seriously. I just wouldn't. Uh, but I definitely have considered using it as a, as, like I say, a private blog network to feed traffic back into my main site. So for that purpose, I think it fits very, very nicely and is a great little plugin. Uh, I've placed a, I've placed a link to it down below. If you want to take a look at it, please click it and take a look at it. There'll be more information on it down there after you get to that location. Uh, you might find this very interesting and very powerful plugin for you to be able to use. So take a chance, take a look at it. I think you're going to like it. It's, it's, it's pretty slick and it's really simple to use and has a lot of power. So I'm going to leave it at that. This is Mike Smith from the IamLife.com saying, hey, have a great day. Take care of yourselves and stay healthy, okay? Um, I'll see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye.